In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do long division. And it's a nice, easy thing to do as long as you follow these four simple steps. The four steps are as follows. First off, we have divide. The second step we have is multiply. The next step, the third step we have is subtract. And finally, for the fourth step, we have bring down. Now, I'm going to show you what these mean with an example here. But how do we remember the order? Well, I have a bit of a dumb way of remembering this. So I just looked at the letters at the start and I've always remembered it as do my socks bite. You might be able to think of your own one, but remember that order and you'll be pretty good. So let's have a look at an example here. We'll start with something nice and simple. 762 divided by three. Now, the first thing we do when we are doing long division is we set these out the right way. And the way we do this is we put the three here, the divisor right here on the left, and then we put this sort of frame here to do our working out. And within that, we put the 762. Our working out is going to be down here, and our answer is going to end up up there. So... Let's start off with our steps here. The first step we have is divide. How many times does three go into seven? So how many times does three go into seven? It goes in two times. So up there, the first part of our answer is a two. The next step we do is multiply. Three times two is equal to six. And then we subtract. So. If we subtract 6 away, 7 take away 6 is equal to 1. Now what we do is we bring this next digit down. That's the 6 here. We bring this down and we end up with a 6 there. We end up with 16. We continue on this pattern here. So what we're going to now see is how many times does 3 go into 16. So how many times does 3 go into 16? Well, that's our divide step. It goes in five times. So let's go through and do these steps again. Five times three is equal to 15. We're subtracting 15. 16 take away 15 is equal to one. And now what we do is we bring the two down here. We end up with 12. Okay, so how many times is three going to 12. Well, three goes into 12 four times. So the four goes up there as part of our answer. Now what we can do is we can do our multiplication there. So four times three is equal to 12. And as you can see here, we do our subtraction, 12 take away 12, we end up with zero. And that means that we have finished our long division there. Our answer is 254. So that's a really simple way of doing it right. Now, I am going to show you even shorter way of doing this without all this working out just after the next example here. So stay tuned for that. So let's have a look at another example. We have 3,143 divided by 6. Now we're going to set this up the same as the previous question, where we have the divisor, the six like this. Then we have this frame for working out. Within that, we have 3,143. The working out will go down here. The answer will end up up there. We're going to be using the steps of divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So let's do that. So first off, we have 3 divided by 6. Now, 3 divided by 6, well, 6 does not go into 3. So that's going to be 0 times that goes in. Now, the trick for doing this is you go through and do those next steps where you multiply, subtract, and bring down with the 0 there. But what you're going to find is you end up just grouping with the next digit along. So a shortcut for doing this is if we get a zero up here, we just group these two 
digits together, the next digit along, and now we continue with the divide step. Okay, so let's do that. So how many times does six go into 31? Six goes into 31 five times because five times six is equal to 30. So we're going to subtract that away. 31 take away 30 is equal to one. Now we bring down this four. So we end up with 14. Okay, so how many times does six go into 14? Six goes into 14 two times because two times six is equal to 12. We subtract that away. 14 take away 12 is equal to two. We now move this three down. We bring it down and we end up with 23. How many times does six go into 23? Six goes into 23 three times because three times six is equal to 18. We subtract that away. 23 minus 18 is equal to five. Now, as you can see, five is less than six. So we can't divide this any further. Well, we could, we could go into decimals but we're not going to do that. The way that we take care of this now is we just get this remainder and we put a five there and we're just going to put it over this divisor here. So we end up with five over six, 523 and five over six. Now that's how you go through and do long division, just using those steps. It's pretty simple, right? but you can condense this up. This is a bit of a shortcut where you don't have to show all this working out here. So our example, uh, we'll have 9,156. We'll divide that by four. So when we do this, we're gonna set it out exactly the same way. We have the divisor there, which is a four, and then we have in the frame here, 9,156. What's more, we're also going to be doing those same steps. We are going to be dividing, multiplying, subtracting, bringing down, but we're just going to be doing it in a more contained way. As you can see, we don't have the space for working out here. We're just going to be putting in our answer directly in. So let's have a look. We have nine divided by four. Nine divided by four, it goes in two times. Two fours are eight, uh, so we have one remainder there. As you can see, we did the same steps, we just didn't write down a whole bunch from down there. Next, we have 11 divided by four. 11 divided by four, that goes in two times. Two fours are eight, and we have three left over. There you go. So 35 divided by four, well, uh, we have four eights of 32, so that's an eight, and we have three left over to take it up to 35. Cool. Finally, we have 36 divided by four, 36 divided by four, and that is equal to nine. With no remainder, so there's our answer, 2,200 and 89 and that's how you go through and do long division without showing all that messy working out beneath anyway that's all there is for this video now for your homework